Hello, it's Natalie from Naturally Nurture here. I'm trying out a new way of reading a spread this Sunday. It might not be for everyone because it's general, but let's see how it goes, and it? Okay, in the past position, we've got the Knight of Swords. In this position, it could speak to have overcome a challenge due to like more energy and a renewed sense of self. It could be feeling more like a go-getter which may have prepared you for some news that you've been waiting to hear. Knight of Swords may also mean that you liked what you heard, you get me? Our Knight is good for those who may have been looking for work. Maybe a promotion, an existing job or just more responsibility. Work may have been busier than in previous months, you know, over the whole New Year's da 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 Alright? Um, you may have been knocking your goals out the ballpark with your newfound energy. But a word of caution though. Stay mindful of not showing up people like that you work with or coming across as an arsehole. That way you'll know whether any funny or off-key vibes you may have noticed is more about them than you. Does that make sense? Alright then. In matters of the heart, the night may have seen you swept off your feet whether boy or girl. Um, if you're in a relationship, Knight of Swords could see things getting a little deeper. And to my singles out there, um, you may have been feeling the need to kind of get dressed, get up, get out there. Because it's harder to meet people at home, right? That new interest may have or may be coming from an unexpected place. So don't worry too much if you've hung up your clubbing shoes, alright? Okay. In the middle... Or well, the present position, oops, excuse me, is a Ten of Wands. In the present position, Ten of Wands can speak to taking on too much and is often associated with those who are like setting up their own business. Dun, dun, dun. I'm listening keenly here myself. Be mindful not to wing it, yeah. It's better to do a few things really well than to do everything badly. Like, if you're a great cook, have you got your health and hygiene rating before you start cooking food to give out? Or as a driver, have you got your MOT and insurance up to date? That kind of thing. Ten of Wands can also be symbolic of the end of a cycle. A sign that struggles may be about to be behind you. Ten of Wands speaks to problems being solved and um, breaking of old patterns that no longer serve. So like this probably be a good time to give up smoking, cough, cough, hint, hint, um, and things of that nature. Um, Ten of Wands also speaks to like business, new contracts, maybe travel to strange and far places. Who knows? Okay. And in the future position, on the right hand side, yeah, we've got our Three of Wands reversed. Um, if like keeping to the present theme, the three of wands in the reverse is basically a warning against carelessness. Rushing, cutting corners, being slapdash could land you in some hot water, you know. So take a bit more time to do your research. Make sure any advice that you're getting is like sound and in your best interests. And for those in business, like the above advice is even amplified, like you get what I'm saying. Um, just because you think that your idea is brilliant, you could risk it being a flop if you don't kind of fact check, check, then cross check the references, then cross check those references. You get what I'm saying? To set yourself up the right way, dot your I's and cross your T's. Okay, good. So just to finish with like the overall energy for the reading, up here so so, is the Nine of Cups. It's a positive card to have, especially in a cautionary reading like this one, you get me? Nine of Cups is sometimes known as the Wish card. It speaks to intuition, awareness, generosity, security of a physical and spiritual nature as well, you get me? Nine of Cups comes with its own reminder though, which is be mindful of overindulgences, overindulgences sorry, that could undermine artistic endeavours or commitments. In other words... Try and know that if you're at that business lunch, don't drink too much wine before giving the presentation. Or lighting something up could mem- like make you forget your words on stage because we know that certain substances do mess with short-term memory. Okay? 
All right, that's it really. That's the reading. And I'd just like to say thanks for taking the time to listen. I hope it was useful to you. And if you like it, hit the share button. Thanks, pubs.